Hello friends, welcome to today's video. So this happened. <laughs> this is what happens when you can't go to your stylist because it's quarantine and you do your hair yourself. I am happy with the fact that my roots and the rest of my hair are the same color, but this is quite a bit darker than what I was going for. Um, I am usually more of a strawberry blonde and this is very intense. Uh, but that's okay, we can work with it. Uh, but that's not what this video is about. Uh, I am here to open my Ipsy subscription. I honestly don't know when I got this. I think this is happening that all of us are kind of losing track of time a little bit. And for me, I don't know, I guess, I think because my last one came so late, in my mind I was thinking like, well, I only opened my last Ipsy a little while ago, and I went to just go randomly check the mail today, which I hadn't done in uh, probably about a week, uh, maybe a little less than that, and this was there. Anyway, <laughs> great story. Uh, this ends up being about $20 Canadian per month. Uh, this is the only subscription I am currently getting as I have quit my boxy charms for now or cancelled is a better way of saying that. Uh, and so yeah, let's see what's in here. Um, I've mentioned before that there are certain things I really like getting. Uh, I enjoy getting like masks. I like getting eyeliners and mascaras, maybe not so much eyeliners, they can be a little boring. Highlighters, blushes, lip products, those are all fun. The only things that I don't super enjoy getting are skincare items where you would really need to use it for like two months to see if it works and instead you get a sample because there's not that much you can learn about it. Uh, so let's open this up. I've not been spoiled or anything for this month so far, so this will be completely new to me. Everything seems to be contained within the bag. There's nothing else in the envelope. And oh, that's pretty, uh, sort of a ombre from pink to yellow, so that's very cute. It is that sort of plasticky feel. Um, I don't love it when the logo is sort of like stamped on stuff because then I feel like I'm less able to use it for like, I don't know, a little clutch or something like that, but I'm not sure this would be sort of a clutch kind of thing for me anyway. So not the biggest bag, I have to say, but let us see. Get the card out of the way, although can I see? So the theme is get that glow which makes me think there's gonna be a highlighter and some skincare. So the first thing I'm feeling is little tubey tube. So let's see what this is. Ooh, okay, and we have a mask, which is one of the things that I said I like to get. It is a, it's from the brand Verb and it's a manage and restore hydrating mask. It looks very much just like a thick moisturizer. Uh, no parabens, no gluten, no sulfates. After washing with, oh. <laughs> It is a hair mask, not a face mask, which is why it looks so much like a conditioner. So after washing with their shampoo, they say, uh, work formula through damp hair, allow mask to sit on the hair for five to seven minutes, rinse, use once a week as needed. And yeah, that's all they say. So pretty much it's probably just like a very deep conditioner, but that's okay. I will use that. As we can tell, I color treat my hair. So any kind of moisture I can add to it is very welcome. Okay, what do we have next? Uh, this is a pencil. I'm guessing an eyeliner or a lip pencil, so let's take a look. Okay, it's an eyeliner. It's from the brand Scone, which I have used one of their brow products before, and I think enjoyed it. This is the Insanely Intense Tattooed Waterproof Eyeliner in Jet Black. Now, it is a crayon formula, from what I can tell, which are not my favorite. Let's open this up and uh, do a little test on my hand. I could be wrong actually, this is plasticky feeling, so ooh, it's actually a felt tip liner, which I really do like. So let's focus in on my hand there. Ooh, that is very black. Drop the lid. Um, but yeah, it's very black and we'll let it dry down as I sort of open the other things and then rub on it a little bit at the end and see what it does. Next product. Okay, there's a little flat thing that I'm gonna guess is a powdered highlighter and let me use my intuitive powers even more. I bet this is going to be from, oh, I always get the Balm and Benefit mixed up with each other. I think it's Benefit that has the little ones that open. No, nope, it's the Balm, but it totally is what I was thinking of. So this is the Auto Balm Day to Night Shadow on the Go. Uh, okay, uh, interesting. I thought from the glow theme that we were doing that this would be a highlighter, but it's not. Okay, it is called uh, Wall Street and it is a very typical kind of gold color. So here's the packaging. So I have to say, not the most exciting shadow in the world. 
I mean, very, very nice and soft feeling. And let's see what it looks like on the back of my hand. So yeah, it's gold with almost sort of a peachy undertone to it. I mean, it's pretty in a shiny and glowy and not at all glittery kind of way. There's a really nice reflect there. Um, this is more the kind of thing if you have a fair bit of makeup like I do that there's a number of these kind of shades that are out there. Not to say I won't play around with it, but uh, just maybe not the most exciting. But moving on, I have two more tubes. So interesting, in their glow theme, there isn't actually a highlighter in here, but that's okay. I like things in tubes. So what's this? Uh, okay, we have something from a brand called Sela. And it is called Creme de la Creme, the very best cream. Is this a body cream? Let me just show you the packaging. From seed to skin, luxurious body cream formulated with uh, Canadian botanicals. Ooh, it's a Canadian product. Capasu butter and Abyssinian oil to richly moisturize. Refreshing orange and grapefruit essential oil to leave skin decadently scented. Uh, and you just put it on your skin like you would any body lotion. So this is a very small sample for body lotion. I go through a lot of body lotion uh, because I just am constantly trying to stay moisturized and I generally like to take one to two showers per day and I always moisturize afterwards. So usually I get myself the big, like low cost moisturizer for my body. Uh, but let's see what this smells like. I do like the idea of it smelling like orange and citrus. So hopefully it does. Put some on my other hand here. It's a nice cream. It feels like thick, but like it sinks in right away. And oh yeah, that is actually really nice. I almost want to call it like a warm citrus kind of scent. Ooh, I like that a lot. Okay, I'm excited about that because that's something I would definitely get a lot of use out of. And let's see what the very last little tube is here. It's something from Perless. I have used a number of their products and quite enjoyed them. And this is the face mask I was looking for. This is the Perlice Matcha Green Tea and Lemon Detoxifying Charcoal Mask. Gently detoxifies pores, clarifies and brightens, exfoliates and purifies. And it's for oily combination, normal and sensitive skin, not dry skin, which I don't have, so that's okay. But here we go, see the packaging. So it says here that green tea is a powerful antioxidant that moisturizes skin and protects from signs of aging. Lemon brightens with a boost of vitamin C. White clay tightens skin and purifies pores. And white tea soothes sensitive skin. So it's uh, apply a thin layer to face, neck, and chest and let set for 10 to 15 minutes and then remove with water. So yeah, I enjoy some charcoal masks. It kind of depends on how um, intense they are. I don't want to strip a lot of the oils out of my skin because, um, well, I just, I have generally fairly balanced skin and I don't want to start stripping away all the oils, then my face feels a need to produce more oil. Um, generally with clay masks, more of an issue, but this doesn't seem to be a purely clay mask. Uh, charcoal, I mean, it's kind of up in the air, but really whether it does anything for your skin, the idea of charcoal charcoal being detoxifying is more about like if you ingest poison then you can ingest charcoal and it will soak up some of that whether it does much for your skin it definitely doesn't do anything bad for your skin um, i'm more interested in like the vitamin c the green tea and some of that clay um, which can be you know nice to pull out some of the oil from the skin just generally if you have like normal to dry skin and you decide you want to use a clay mask don't let it dry down to like that hard crack state because that's when it has pulled like everything out of your skin uh, but I don't mind using clay masks when you just let them dry for a little bit and then wash them off when they're still uh, slightly tacky so I'm looking forward to trying this I would say I enjoy all of this stuff um, the eyeshadow you know, not the most exciting. I do think if you're going to sort of have singles, it's kind of nice to have more of a wow shade there, but I do really think it's pretty, the glow that's in there without being glittery in any way. So it could be sort of a nice one and done kind of thing to use on the eyes, just with a bit of eyeliner. Uh, and in that way might be very convenient for traveling, which none of us are doing right now. Let's take a look at what the little card says about the products. So get that glow. A new season is finally on the horizon. Let the excitement in the air spark new ideas like sunset lids or megawatt highlighter and bask in every light you find, ready to get glowing. Oh, interesting. In past Ipsies, they have given a card that tells you more about 
um, the products themselves, but this one does not seem to. It just has tips on how to use three different kinds of highlighters, which is also interesting because they didn't give me a highlighter, which is fine. I have like a ton of highlighters, uh, but they're basically saying how to use powder, liquid, or cream highlighter, and actually don't really tell you anything about the product. So I thought we were gonna learn a bit more, but that's okay. Uh, that is my Ipsy unboxing or unbagging. Um, I enjoyed it. I'm looking forward to playing with these products. I would be interested in hearing what you guys got in your bags, but also specifically if you get Ipsy or if you watch other people's Ipsy unbaggings. Uh, did a lot of other people get highlighters and I was like one of the few who didn't? Uh, let me know. Uh, let me know that in the comments down below. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch my video and joining me for this today. I really do appreciate it. Uh, have a wonderful weekend or week, depending on when you're watching this, and I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Hey, me again. I totally forgot to test the eyeliner at the end of that and I 100% sat down and just filmed a different video and then realized that I still had this on my hand. So here we go. I'm rubbing super hard on this. And yeah, it faded a little bit, like min minuscule amount of fading. If anything, it just made it look a little more, more matte, but it has not smudged or pilled up. Let's try. It's not 100% waterproof, <laughs> it has smudge there, uh, but that was some pretty aggressive rubbing that I did, so I'm looking forward to trying this out and seeing how it performs in like real life. Uh, thanks so much guys, see you in my next video. Bye! What was that? I don't do that. <laughs> see you guys in my next video.